2021 is here, and that means new games are on the horizon set to define the year in gaming. We all know about the giant AAA games coming out for systems like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and so many of those are going to be great. But there is a small group of us, you included, who are curious about new games coming out for the classic NES console. Well, I have good news for you. Today, we will be going over three games to look for coming to the Nintendo Entertainment System in 2021. Number two on this list is like nothing you've ever seen, so stick around for it. All right, let's rock. This is a review show. This is a review show. You don't have to like it, but I hope you like it. We kick off 2021 with Ghoul Grind, Night of the Necromancer, which is an endless runner. I'm not sure this genre was even around back in the NES heyday. If it was, it either took a different form like 3D World Runner, which is kind of one from the rear perspective, I suppose, or maybe there's something out there I'm just not familiar with. So Ghoul Grind takes place on October 29th in the year 1990X. Ah, remember good old 1990X? I sure don't. Then again, I did smoke a lot of weed back in the 90s, so I'm not sure if I trust my brain on that one. Anyway, the game itself stars a skeleton couple named Knox and Veronica, who you can play as one at a time. Both can jump and shoot. The main difference between the two bags of bones are their weapons. Some obstacles require Knox, and some require Veronica. You make your way through the levels constantly running. You cannot stop, slow down, or speed up. Just go at the pace chosen and learn the levels and use your skills to survive. There are supposed to be end level bosses, but the demo I played wanted to crash during the second stage. Of course, I fully expect these bugs to be worked out by the time the game releases. So number two on this list is literally a number two, in a figurative sense. It's called Pixel Poops Number Two. And as much as I want to say this game is shitty, alas, I cannot. It's actually a pretty fun action puzzle game. The object is to shit in front of the joggers to stop them in their tracks before leaving the screen. You don't have an endless supply of crap though. Nope. You have to eat some delicious tacos in order to fill your fecal meter and shine those folks shoes with Shinola. The gameplay is pretty fun and addictive, and you also can play couch co-op if you have a second player in the room, which I did not at the time of this recording. So yes, today, at this moment, I am the lone shitter in this stall known as the NES. But I digress. Onward to something you might find in a pile of dookie. And that is... Tapeworm. Or more accurately, Tapeworm Disco Puzzle. This is a really fun puzzle game that isn't quite like anything I've played before. If you've seen something like this, I'd love to know where the inspiration came from. Please, let us all know in the comments. As far as the gameplay goes, you're a giant penis and, uh, or I, I mean you're a worm, and you stretch around the underground collecting musical notes. Collect all the items and you win the level. Pretty simple. But they add elements to make things more challenging as the levels progress. Eagle Eye veterans of the NES homebrew scene might recognize these little flea characters from one of low tech's other NES games known as Flea. Generally, the fleas in this game help you collect items and once in a while, it's your job to guide them safely to a door. I really enjoyed playing through the demo of this one, and normally, I'm not huge on NES puzzlers. Although as a side note, I really do enjoy Adventures of Lolo. So maybe if you enjoy Adventures of Lolo, you might enjoy this. I will definitely be looking forward to the final version of Tapeworm Disco Puzzle to play through when it is ready. So, that wraps up this video on three NES games to look for in 2021. If you know of any I missed or want me to take a look at your game, just hit me up in the comments or use the email on our about page on this channel. Do any of these games look like fun to you? Would you pick up a cartridge if they were to be put out? I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button if you liked the video or thumbs down if you didn't. Until next time, see you soon.